So this is the site or one very much like it that we're going to be building in the course. The idea is that I am an amateur photographer and let's say I wanted to sell some of my prints. So I've got a number of images on this site for sale in the shop. So what you're seeing here is the home page. You can see we've got a contact number at the top. We've got social icons. We've got links to the shop basket account and also a running total over here. And this is the home page. You can see we've got a nice parallax effect there with an image and then some text. And then we have some images. These are sections in the course. So we have a section on macro photography, one on rare dog breeds from the UK and another one on owls and birds, which are photos taken from the Badavon farm in North Wales. So we've got sections here. You can go straight to the area of the shop for birds or dogs or macro shots. We've then got some information here about our prints. And if we go down, we've got this little slider down here, which shows some of the work, some of the art that can be bought on the shop. Now, this isn't a real shop. You can't actually buy these. It's just set up for this course, but you get the idea. And then we've got a link here to visit the shop. And then we have a satisfaction guarantee. And then we've got down here in the footer, we've got contact information. We have more social icons here where you can go and visit my social profiles. We've got a Visa and PayPal logo down here. We've got a category search, so we can go and search specifically in the three categories we've got set up and we've got a copyright information down at the bottom. So this is the home page. The shop itself, if I click on that, will be taken to the shop and you can see this is the setup for the shop. We've got a sidebar which you can add different things to the sidebar and we will look at a couple of things you can add. We've got a search box here where you can search for specific images. We've got categories so I can just select if I'm in, interested let's say just in macro photography I can click on that and I can look through the macro photography images if there's one that I like I can go and select the options and you can see here that mousing over the image we actually get a bigger view I've set it up so that there are three different types of image you can have a downloadable image which is that one you can have one with a black frame which is that one and one with a white frame, which is that one. And as you select the different options, the image over here changes to show you what it would look like. We can also choose different sizes. And depending on the size, the price will automatically change. We've got the number in stock. We've got the option of adding it to the basket. We've also got this add to wish list, which is one of the extras that we'll be adding. So I've just added it to the basket. You can see here at the top, we've now got 750. If I move my mouse over that basket, you can see that we've got one item in the basket. That's the one we've just added. And from that, we can go to the checkout if we want. On the checkout, this is where we can start taking payments. Now, because this was just the site I set up while I was developing the course, there aren't actually any payment methods in there, but we will do that in the full course. The other thing we've got with a WooCommerce store is my account. And when people come to your site to buy things, you can get them to register with an account and that will then give them options like changing their profile, uh, looking for the downloads that they may have bought, various bits of information, which we'll cover as we go through the course. So this then is the website that we're going to create inside the course. It's a fictional WooCommerce or e-commerce store selling photography prints. Before we can start building this site though, we need to look at where you're going to install it. Are you going to install it locally on your own computer while you're learning? Are you going to install on a web host? And a few other things. So that's all coming in the next few videos.